a model review of this. Let's bring it over. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's a dial spreader fire engine. Now, there is a lighter version of this, there's a lighter truck version, but it's not a good truck. This one is the pump version. Now, it is a Dal Parado. Let me hold it for you. It's a Dal Parado Aveco Euricada Tector. And unfortunately, yes, one of the wheels has fallen off for the one that pumped these whole, my hose reel things at the back. So, it's a crew cap engine because Oxford Dyke at the minute is stuck in the olden days and still waiting for the West Yorkshire pump to come out, the South Wales pump to come. Dal Parado is the one that makes some cool modern day crew cabs like the Uveco, Eurocargo. We've got some few weird ones. There's one over there we're going to be viewing soon. Got that today as well. That's come today. Also got a Ford Transit van. That's going to be viewed today. But the whole point is this truck is believably nice. I love the lockers. So you look at the lockers. Let's move this wheel out of the way. So you can see this big exhaust pipe, which is like the, the, the pipe that goes vroom. So you've got two cab doors here, so you got the cab. The telephone number is French, the French fire engine's per number. Spurs, Pompers, Seni, Maritime. It's like a, it's like a um, Maritime fire engine. So yeah, but it's got two lockers at the side here. Crew cab here. Look at the factory front. It's got the front. It's got the Veco Eurocargo Camivar. That's the, the make of the truck. It's got two um, body, the body of the truck at the rear. It's got two blue light bars on top, which is just absolutely cool. It's got some light nickel equipment stuff on top, like a box, silver box, like a tool bit, like a tool kit, some amber lights, more crew cab on this side. Lovely truck wheels. Come to the back, unfortunately, that's what's happened to this wheel. This is falling off this wheel. It's meant to go on there. These are like hose connectors. And you move them along, like hose wheel jets and stuff. So it's meant to take them on. That's quite fine. It's got like a light, a light mass at the back, which comes up in the air, extends. This will extend up in the air and just light the whole area up on the scene. The rear here we've got like a pump details and some bits and bobs. The pump here is absolutely brilliant. And we've got a ladder as well which you can climb up to the top and enter the toolbox which is absolutely cool. This is a really cool truck. It's got some two tool like lockers here, crew cab doors. Now there is a ladder version like I said. Mm -hmm. But it's not as brilliant. I don't really like the the ladder version, but yep. So it's a Dal Parado. <sighs> Dal Parado 2000 2002. The 2002 FF FPT 3000 Efeco. Most of these have gone into Czech Republic now and Poland and all that now because. Of, that's what that's what Poland and Czech Republic do. They buy second and fire engines and create their own. It's really cool actually, recycling, I love recycling because when you get rid of a fire engine, they're not deemed crap. They're actually still usable. And that's why you got like vent companies. So I'm a bit sad about this wheel falling off, but yeah, but it's a lovely decent truck. Happy New Year guys. Uh, it's not it's happy new year tomorrow, but happy new year from everyone. Uh hope you like my new video series, emergency simulators, that's the new series I've done. Uh Hopefully, it'll be more juicy simulators of view. I've got um, industrial fire simulator, stuff like that, and um, firefighting simulator squad, which I mean, it has a big glitch. What let me do any more missions? But it's not my favorite game because it's really confusing. Mercy Call One and Twelve simulators are my best ones because they're so my more my favorites because I like German trucks. Anyway, guys, hit that like button and share this video as well. And don't forget to subscribe for more content from Northwest and Abids. Um, so, bye guys.